Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 11th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we had us a bullish party last week. It was bulls all the time uh, with a market focused on hopefulness of more stimulus. We just rallied, rallied, rallied. Jobs data did not matter. Um, we didn't care about not having jobs. We cared about government deficit spending and we rallied strongly last week. So what does that mean for this week? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up and get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I want to apologize that I'm running a little bit late today. This video will be out a little bit later than normal. I had a little bit of a problem with the blog, had to actually start over today, so I'm running behind. So how about I just pick up the pace and we'll just move forward as quickly as we can here. Taking a look at the technicals of the chart. Now, as you can see, if we were to draw a trend up here, we are certainly very bullish in the Dow. And we have broken through resistance levels in the Dow substantially, just really powered up last week and showed lots and lots of interest to, to buy up stock. Now we're getting a little bit of a pullback. You can see we had a little bit of a shooting star, a little bit of a hanging man pattern left behind on Friday. And this morning we're looking at the markets pulling back this morning. Right now Dow futures are kind of suggesting about a 200 point move lower. And if you take a look at this candle, this is the pre-market activity. It's hard to imagine that these little teeny tiny candles are encompassing 200 point moves. The reason I'm bringing that up is just to illustrate the potential danger that we have to recognize. Um, we could easily, easily move a thousand points lower and still hold trend in the market so be careful with that remember that there is significant pullback danger here um, just because of the huge massive point moves that we're getting here um, in the market watch that closely that could be kind of painful but having said that right now the bulls are in control trends are there and we want to stay with those trends as long as those trends continue but we do have to add that little bit of caution in the market of those pullbacks that could be pretty darn ugly take a look at our averages you can see we are substantially above our 50 day as a matter of fact if i move right over to the dow whoops and uh, just measure from the dow um, where we are about to open this morning somewhere in here if we were just to pull back to the 50-day moving average that's 1300 points um, in the market so just kind of keep in mind that those pullbacks could be rather painful um, if those bears decide to uh, finally engage we'll wait and see right now the bears don't seem to have any energy whatsoever and with president-elect biden's comments the other day suggesting that there could be trillions more in stimulus on the way once he takes office um, who knows maybe we can just continue to print and nothing else matters we move higher however the market is reacting a little bit to coronavirus concerns this morning california is really in crisis mode health officials have mentioned that one person dies um, every eight minutes on average their hospitals are overwhelmed they're bringing in refrigerator trucks to uh, temporarily store bodies because um, of the things going on there and um, obviously the market has done a pretty good job of ignoring this uh, to this point it makes me wonder how much longer we can or maybe we're picking up that awareness today that there are some concerns here let's notice here on the spy a um, little bit of a hanging man pattern here on friday we're getting a little follow through to the downside here this morning but really nothing overall bearish in this chart as you can see we're holding above support levels we're holding well above trend um, spy looking to be in pretty good shape any rest or pullback in here could actually set up opportunity for upside moves so um, bulls remain in control let's take a look at the nasdaq now nasdaq um, really was starting to show a little bit of problem but boy they reversed that completely and holding on to trend even though we did fail that trend at one point 
completely reversed to back to back up stretching on out here new record highs and any rest or pullback or consolidation in here just sets up another bullish opportunity so if those bears don't really engage all we can see right now is bullishness in this market if we take a look at iwm iwm also very very strong new record highs pushing up big and strong um, now i would say that um we had a little bit of a downtrend that started underway. We completely reversed that um, last week, pushing back up. So any rest or pullback sets up that opportunity in the chart. One thing I want to continue to mention, though, is just how parabolic this overall chart looks. Now, when we zoom that up, it doesn't look quite so parabolic. But boy, you pull this thing back, and you can see we just continue to get straighter and straighter and straighter into that move up to the upside. So be careful. Now, this continues to be fueled by um, good data in um, um, energy prices and the, the, the financials. And keep in mind, those financials will start reporting earnings this week. Um, we could see um, anything happen in here. So just be a little bit careful um, in the market. Um, should those reports start to miss or we see some problems in there, um, we could see a quick pullback here in IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX continues to provide a little bit of concern, and that is that we're continuing to hold this little uptrend here. You would think setting new record highs the way we have in such a bold way that we would see more of a decline here in uh, the VIX, but not the case. We're still below our 50-day moving average, and we have held below this downtrend. That is a good sign. What I think we need to do is we need to see this actually drifting back below here. Now, this morning's gap down is likely going to create a rally back higher. So let's watch that closely. And again, as long as we stay below this downtrend, I think we're OK. But it is a bit perplexing to me, continuing to be perplexing to see new record highs in the market and the VIX remaining so high. So just be careful with that. If those bears do decide to come in and, and attack, we could see that fear spike up really, really quickly. So just be on your toes and be prepared should that um, occur. Let's take a look at T2122. Um, the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, T2122 had a little modest pullback on Friday, but really not much. It was just kind of indicating that we were up here in this bearish reversal zone. And we have been up here for a very long time. So now the question becomes with this pullback this morning of about 200 points, will the bears really engage? and pull us back or will it just be another uh, little modest pullback and those bulls come rushing back in to push us higher anything is possible in this market um, we know that we're gonna going to have kind of a newsy week with a bunch of earnings we have congress trying to move forward with a an impeachment of the president we're going to have a president transition not this week but next week um, quite the quite the political environment that we've got going on so watch that carefully if we were to get those bears to attack we do have a big open space down here for them to push if they do come in and engage and keep in mind if those bulls fight back with the gap down this morning we'll op have opened up some kind of space now i don't know how far this will be but maybe we open up a space and um, can allow some more upside to occur but this morning's um, sell-off um, might be a little bit painful for those who I might have been buying um, into Friday. Let's take a look at T2101. Now this, I will say, has a little bit of bullishness um, and is a good thing to see. Um, as we rallied last week, we saw a little bit more market breadth coming into that buy side. And we've needed that because we have been seeing a tremendous down climb, climb, uh, 
big down trend here in our uh, market breadth as we go higher and higher. Now, unfortunately, this morning we're going to see that selling wave, and what we might actually see is that market breadth even move higher if they if that bearish side really starts coming in. So watch that close. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that um, this morning. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today, and we don't have much of anything to worry about on that economic calendar today we have oops sorry picked up another window ah doesn't want to let me separate that out apologize so you can see we don't have much going on here today we've got um, some bond auctions we've got fed speak out there but other than that um, not much going on and as a matter of fact we don't have a whole lot this um, entire week we've got the jobs openings report tomorrow we have an absolute parade of speakers uh, fed speakers tomorrow we've got the cpi um, on wednesday that might be um, one of the bigger numbers um, that we'll want to pay attention to um, this week we've got um, jobless claims on thursday and then we have a pretty busy uh, Friday with PPI, retail sales, uh, industrial production. So not much in the calendar this week until we slide over here toward the end of it. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now we do have about 11 companies reporting earnings today, but we don't have, um, we don't have too many that are really notable uh, small cap kind of thing. So let's take a look. I have listed uh, CNXC as an earnings that we might want to keep an eye on, but just notice that this is a new um, issue, may not be um, really noteworthy overall, but because of its price, I placed it on the list today. Um, it will be reporting um, KRUS. KRUS will be reporting today. We might want to keep an eye on that. Notice this has held a very nice uptrend here in the chart. We're up here dealing with some price resistance levels. Um, a good earnings report could push us on through. Watch that closely. It looks like we're getting a little bit of bearish activity here this morning up here against that resistance. So watch that closely. And SNX. SNX is the only other stock that I put on the list. Uh, could be notable. This has been an amazing uptrend, as you can see, breaking through resistance levels, holding up very, very well. Bulls definitely in the control here, so keep an eye on SNX as it reports today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that it, you can be notified every time i post one of these videos i want to say thanks to everyone who clicks um who subscribes clicks those thumbs up buttons leaves a brief comment helps us continue to grow and i just want to say thanks to everyone you guys are awesome them. I do try to answer as many of the comments as possible. Please keep doing that. I read every one of them. I, I got to tell you, you guys humble me every day with your kind words. I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for supporting the effort. And if you feel that these videos are worthy, then please support um, you know, post them out there on your social media platforms, um, helps us continue to grow this channel. And, uh, once again, thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And one of the things I want to mention in here is that there is no recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, in, uh, I, I want to make that very, very clear that, um, everyone has to follow their own due diligence, um, their own trade rules when they're looking um, into trades. So this morning could be a little bit of a challenge as you can see with things pulling back. And one of the things that I was looking at last week, and as a matter of fact, um, um, continued to try to get in um, try to get into some of these trades. Take a look at Facebook. Um, Facebook, I think, let me put my drawings on this chart. Facebook, I had laid out for members of um, RWO a bear call credit spread here. And I see Facebook as kind of failing in this wedging pattern. 
and looking lower. And this morning, um, we're actually drifting lower. So keep an eye on that. There may be some short in here. Remember, Facebook is facing some considerable government challenges here with antitrust. So watch that closely. Um, that could weigh on this chart. Also, um, take a look um, where Google is right now. Google pressing back up into its price resistance. Now, this is also facing considerable governmental um, challenges. And as you can see, we have that little tiny possibility of, of a head and shoulders up here. As we challenge this resistance level in the chart, keep a close eye on this. Um, Google has that potential to go either direction. Notice we're rather tight to our trend here, and we had kind of failed in this area. Um, if we can hold up here, um, regain this support, there may be some more upside potential here in Google. If we happen to fail here, that could be a problem and watch that closely. Um, kind of an interesting chart to be, um, could go either direction. So keep a close eye on that. I've been keeping an eye on Starbucks and Starbucks had a really nice day on Friday. Um, looking really, really good in here. Now I ended up not buying. I just didn't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff heading into the weekend after we had rallied so much, but um, Starbucks looking good in here. Any rest or pullback or consolidation in here just sets up that opportunity where we can follow this upside trend here in Starbucks. Keep a close eye on that. We'll want to watch that closely. Um, I continue to mention these metals. Now, metals continue to um, to rally and look very, very good. We had a little bit of pullback here. Now let's keep an eye on this to see if that can continue to um, fire itself up. I wouldn't want to chase into that right now and I wouldn't want to predict that it will go higher. These have been up a lot, but let's keep an eye on those metals. And speaking of metals, oh my goodness. Um, I don't know exactly what happened here um, with gold, but gold just fell completely out of bed. Um, just, wow, what a sell-off here in gold. I guess everyone is dumping gold in um, hopes of, um, you know, that stimulus uh, continuing to power up the market. So watch this now that we've broken down, breaking down through these support levels. Gold could actually set itself up with any rally back as a potential failure pattern. So watch that closely, kind of surprising. And it actually caught me. Um, I don't win every trade. I don't want anybody to think I, I do. I actually bought um, silver over here. This looked like it had quite a little bit of hope for an upside move and bam, um, just got hammered in that. So I got stopped out early on that trade on Friday. Unfortunately, um, no follow through. And we're seeing um, bonds actually rallying here um, on the news that um, President Biden, uh, President-elect Biden um, plans uh, trillions more of stimulus. And we're seeing those bonds rally. You would think gold and silver would be picking up, but boy, that is not the case here. Uh, pretty substantial sell-off here in that chart. So keep an eye on this. Bonds um, trying to hold up overall. One of the things that was remarkable, I thought, on Friday is how strong um, we saw moves in retail. Retail holding very, very well. This is a, a long-term trade that I hold in UAA, and you can see breaking back above some resistance levels here in the chart. It's trying to hold this area up here in support and could potentially move on higher. Why Watch that carefully. Remember, I have a little bias here because I am holding this. And I'm going to be watching this pretty carefully. If we cannot hold support in here, that would be a problem for UAA. Take a look at Target. Target had a good week last week, moving on higher. And you can see stretching out retail stocks looking very, very good overall. Now, I wouldn't suggest chasing this. I think any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity. But watch that carefully, holding up pretty strong. Um, I've been mentioning Lyft. Lyft continues to hang on in here. Lyft, Uber, um, with any kind of recovery, these could start picking up and looking better. So keep a close eye on those. And then we saw some pretty decent moves in, um, in um, 
casinos last week. As you can see, nice bullish pattern here on Pin National. We had pulled back, rallied up. There's that nice higher low, nice bullish move here. Getting a little bit of rest this morning, but keep um, keep an eye on that. Um, casinos seem to be um, holding up quite well and could soon be breaking out here for more upside moves. Keep an eye on that. Um, last couple things I want to mention. If we take a look at financials, financials looking very, very good in here. As you can see, XLF has really exceeded um, um, lots of, lots of, um, a break broken through lots and lots of resistance exceeded my expectations substantially but we are getting some pullback now so let's watch that carefully if it can find that next level of price support if we can hold some price support levels in this chart then there may be opportunity um, to pick up some more um, financials. Um, remember, we head into that earnings week this week. A lot of these financials are, will report. So there could be a lot of moving around in here. We'll want to watch that carefully. And then energy. Um, my goodness, energy um, zoomed back up strongly here last week. We pushed back up through some resistance levels in the chart. We're getting a pullback now. Let's watch that carefully. If we can hold some support levels here in energy, it could actually set up more upside opportunity. We could even pull back all the way back into here and still be showing some bullishness. So watch that close in energy. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving a comment and subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Everyone take care. Be safe out there. Be safe. These coronavirus numbers are not good. Uh, be safe and we will see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.